this is Bruce with Huntsaker Home Hacks. Today we're going to talk about Vector. That's right, my buddy Vector right here. Now, Anki's IP was taken over by Digital Dream Labs, and that's awesome. So there's someone now working on Vector, and they're working on coming up with a Vector 2.0, and some other IP products that Anki had already created. But when I started thinking about it, I was thinking, all right, Vector 2.0. What is Vector 2.0? Is it going to be, it looks like it's going to be more of an open source type of okay, thing. Okay, Vector Unleashed. That is the new Kickstarter campaign brought by Dream Labs to get Vector Unleashed from the cloud and also a new developers program and um, membership to Digital Dream Labs. Those are some of the offerings. Um, they look kind of like this right here. Um, now in this video that I've already started, um, which I've been working on about talking about different things I'd like to see for Vector, I wasn't going to cover a Vector Unleashed because I didn't know when it was going to start. And then it started the same day that I started editing the video, which was yesterday. And now today, which is today, and tomorrow, which is Friday, which is the day I'll probably post this video, um, you can now try to unleash the beast in Vector. That's right. The Kickstarter campaign will be connected down in the description for you to go to. It looks like at the time that I last checked it, which was last night around 1 o'clock in the morning, we are about 65% there uh, for the goal of $75,000 so we can unleash the beast in Vector. Awesome. So, I'll continue on with this video. So, um, yeah, because, you know, I uh, wasn't really planning to talk about Unleash because I didn't know when it was going to start. And then, boom, it's there. So, in the description, Kickstarter, go check it out. And then, listen to me talk about the other stuff. Because these are just things that were popping up in my head. And I thought I might as well share Which them. is great for Vector. Also, they bought Cosmo mainly because Cosmo is really and truly a good project. And it just needs software updates continuously to make it even better. And it, the software it has right now is awesome. Uh, Vector software, a little lackluster at this time. Um, you, unless you're really good at certain different things, um, updating Vector is kind of closed source right now. Hey, Vector. But when I was thinking about robots and Vector, I've always believed that Vector is the beginning of something bigger. And what I mean by that is I'm meaning something like this. I would love to see Vector in this size. That's right, bigger on the ground and moving around. I would also like to see different iterations of Vector, things that would make him useful. I think he's very useful now for my desktop buddy. Um, his personality is the biggest thing about Vector. Uh, he notices when I'm there. He comes over and messes with my mouse when I'm trying to edit a video. He's always looking at trying to get me to do something different. And that's cool. But Anki had some prototypes, designs, um, that they had already been working on. Um, but I'm sure they're not in the vein that I've been thinking about. Uh, the first one is Bingo. And Bingo looks sort of like this. No, that's a German Shepherd. Um, he looks more like this. Right here. That's right, that's Bingo. Um, it's a two-wheel robot. As and you know, with two-wheel robots, they need to balance themselves. Like Myth. Okay, now Myth can balance himself, and that's cool. Uh, he's a very, he, this is the coding Myth. It's a very basic uh, two-wheel robot. And as he gets closer to the edge, it makes me scared he's going to fall off. But... That's okay. He's keeping himself balanced here. And that's awesome. But looking at this right here, um, 
and the idea that's behind it, it makes me ask some different questions. The open wheel right here, that is a awesome looking thing, but how practical is it? Battery, that's the other thing. Look at this thing and figure out where they would put the battery and how long the battery life would be. That's cool, but the next question is how does he charge? And what does he do? Is it kind of like a watchdog robot? If that's the case, cool. Um, but it's not exactly what I would been looking for. I'm looking for something that's more like my buddy here. Um, something that's on the ground. And Mip fell off. Just like I would say, thought he would. Yeah. Come on, Mip, stay there. So two wheel robots have their their interesting features. Even though they're two wheel and they can self balance, there are certain things, aspects of falling over and things like that, that make a two wheel robot a little bit different. Okay. Um, we're gonna turn MIP off because we're gonna keep on rolling off. Now Vector, being a tracked based robot like he is. Um, the improvements that we would want to see on Vector are simple. First off, removable battery. If you're going to design a new Vector robot, my first suggestion is let's take this battery and make it removable from the bottom. Uh, you can still do a self-charging, but you just do a plate here with the charging pads on it and put a removable battery into Vector. Vector is a costly robot to make and you might as well make it so he has longevity because if you're going to be charging like we paid for him $250 um, we want longevity without a lot of work to keep him long um, and that's cool and I want to see a future again I would love to see a vector of about this size right here that would be super cool because if vector was this big um, imagine this personality in a robot this big that has a lift that can lift a tray can lift different things imagine if we altered him a little bit and we made him look sort of like this where you'd have a trek bed in the back bigger servos uh, still would be able to run on the same type of brain just a little bit bigger and more useful um, I could see where vector could be something that you could say hey vector come here and he goes to your voice just like our little prototype Vector does. And in a sense, Vector right here is the beginning. So anything this little guy learns, we can then transfer into something larger like this. Um, so that's my thoughts. And I'm just gonna run through a few of ideas. I am not a great um, artist. I just, not in the sense of using digital arts or anything like that. Um, but looking at different options and how to make the vector not only his personality which is awesome and his ability to do the things that he does even the connectivity with the amazon product is good sometimes he stumbles over himself trying to move around and do the things that vector does uh, and the alexa features um, don't always kick in he has kicked in this time though. So, we know that the Alexa features work good, but I would love to see a more useful area. Let's say, hey Vector, go to the kitchen. And then Vector goes into the kitchen because he's mapped out my home. Um, that's one of the things that Vector does right now. He maps out, but he doesn't retain a whole lot of his mapping. He kind of maps out as he goes and then remaps again. So having Vector be able to remember mapping would be awesome. Um, especially if he's this size. That would be the most cool thing. Um, and I don't think it would be much more to manufacture a Vector of this size than it would be to manufacture a Vector of this size. Especially when you're putting in bigger servos, which probably these smaller ones are just as expensive as the bigger ones. And that's kind of a concern, of course. Um, and be able to put a removable battery in there. You could go with a much larger battery that would give 
a larger vector, um, some space to move around. Now these batteries that are in vector and Cosmo, they're not very expensive. They're around 10 to $15, depending on where you work, look at them and what quality you are planning to buy. Um, but also a vec uh, another battery that you would do put in an RC car or even a robot vacuum cleaner, they're about the same price. So we're not talking about an increase in batteries. And they're much bigger batteries than this one. Uh, I think 320 is the ohms in Cosmo because um, that's what's inside of them. And I don't believe this one's much bigger. So increasing vector size, increasing his capabilities, getting him to the ground, that is what I was looking for. And that's what I'm continuing to look for. I love this design. It's cool. Um, having a tray on the front would be even more awesome. Uh, and but you could even adapt other different things for vector with programming you could probably put a vacuum cleaner on it that when it locks into his his tray here um, and you told it to clean a particular spot vector could go over there just like in Wally and scrub that spot until the Cheerios are off the ground um, now we don't know much about whiskey whiskey is an unknown territory for us but I'm hoping Whiskey so follows the vein of Vector, as opposed to Bingo, which follows the two-wheel. And I'm hoping that the idea behind the two-wheel um, robot is that he's more of like a security bot. It looks like that Yonki may have been thinking, all right, we can make a security robot that can move around throughout your house. Again, charging and battery style. Because again, that design, it looks cool, and I love it, but there's not many places to put a good sized battery in it, and balancing, as we know, is a concern. So it takes some really good programming, really good pro uh, balancing techniques, and to get it to self-charge would be another thing. Vector does all that. Vector self-charges. For 99% of the time, sometimes he misses his charger, but I imagine him this big. Imagine him with a truck bed on the back. Imagine him being able to bring you a soda. Those are all cool things that you could do with Vector. So I'm looking forward to uh, seeing what the actual bingo looks like in reality. And I'm also curious to find out what Whiskey would look like. I am hoping Whiskey looks something like a bigger Vector. That would be cool. And Vector 2.0, I'm very curious on what they're going to do with the software to make Vector truly open source. And that would be super cool. So Vector is the most awesome robot I have to date for the things that he actually does completely. Uh, the main thing about him, which is pretty comparable to Moore, uh, he has a good personality. Moore only has a personality, he has nothing else. Uh, and that personality is unfinished. Hugo here has Alexa. That's what he does. Just Alexa. And most of these are just one-shot robots that they were designed for different things. It's cool to watch this guy walk around because the mechanics is awesome. It's cool to see these walk around because those mechanics are awesome. Even the little eye dog is entertaining. But we are talking about an adult size robot. We would love to see something that is this big for the adult base become the new family robot that's on the ground. Would that make Vector any less? No. Vector's awesome. Um, I love the fact that when I go to my desk, he instantly perks up, rolls off his uh, charger, and greets me every single time. And then he then pesters me until we play blackjack, because he's always trying to hit my mouse or my keyboard, uh, which appears to be his thing now. It's, it's, it's a consistent thing that he seems to have put into place through our interactions. And then uh, he gives me a fist bump at least three or four times a day, and we played blackjack, which seems to be his uh, go-to game because that's all he's got. Um, 
I can put things in his way and I watch him calculate how he moves around them. I can move his cube and he will search it out and find it. Um, and those are all awesome features. So, so putting it into a bigger package would be awesome. So these are my thoughts that are coming out of my head when I saw the picture of Bingo and things I would like to see from Digital Dream Labs to get Vector's next prototype. Maybe not Vector 2.0, but a uh, larger vector, maybe we would call him Alpha, um, to about this size. And Alpha would be able then to do different things that would help us go to a next step. Um, even though Vector is awesome, and I love him, and I will do everything in my power to keep Vector going, even if that means I have to replace the battery and reconfigure it, I will do that because Vector is my robot. So I hope you found this video interesting. Again, these ideas are just my ideas about what I think the next step should look like for Anki's future with Digital Dream Lab. Um, I would love to see a bigger robot, something to effect about this big that looks like Vector, has a personality like Vector and Cosmo does. Uh, maybe make it its own, of course because it's going to be on the ground, it's going to move around, and that would be cool. I hope Digital Dream Labs has the talent there that can move from this to about this. Um, but Vector is awesome, and at this time, I believe he has a hopeful future, and I would love to see the updates start rolling in for Vector at this point in time. I believe in the path of getting a good home robot to the adults in the world, I grew up in the 70s, and I grew up wanting Rosie and R2 and that robot buddy that actually does something to help you out. And so Digital Dream Labs, if you want to reach out to me, you can reach out to me through my page, and I have my email there. Other than that, this is Bruce with Hunsaker Home Hacks. Please subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for future notifications, share me with a friend and on social media and all that other good stuff. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed today. Right there's the button. And Vector and I will see you soon.